Let's start with Kapalvati practice. Relax the breath. Exhale, into the chest, squeeze the abdomen, squeeze the bottom muscles, hold the breath. Relax. So when you apply the molubanga, the pelvic floor muscles get strengthened. Second round, interlock your fingers, turn the palms up. Take a deep inflation and a long exhalation. And let us start when you are ready. Relax. Now let's go to the third round. Arms on the shoulder blades, elbows facing the ceiling. Relax the breath. Let us start when you are ready. Relax. Now you may take away the blanket. Sit in Vajrasana if you can, or use a mop to sit in Vajrasana. Let's practice Mastrika Prana and relax the breath.
Close fist, arms next to the shoulders. Relax the breath. Take a couple of normal breaths. So let us start with Bhastrika Prana, forced inhalation and forced exhalation without any strain. Seven to ten times. And relax. Locks are optional. Take a deep inhalation and a long exhalation. Completely relax the breath, relax the facial muscles, relax the cheeks. So let us start with the second round, those fist, arms next to the shoulders, relax the breath. And when you are ready, let us start. Inhale. Relax. Take a few deep breaths. And relax the breath. Relax the whole body. Let us go to the third and final round. Loose fist, arms next to the shoulders. Relax the breath. When you are ready, forced inflation and forced exit. Inhale. Relax. Now you may lie down on the mat and relax for a few moments.
Now you may bend your knees, drop the knees to the right, turn the head to the left, keep both the shoulders on the floor, knees to the left, turn the head to the right, side to side. And separate the feet. Right knee to the left. Left knee to the right. And release. Once again, relax the breath. Now, inhaling, bring the arms beyond the head. Exhaling, bring the arms back to the body. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. This time, keep the feet together, point the feet. Let the arms go beyond the head. Create a gap between lower spine and the mat. Hold it. Feel that stretch in the lower back. And push the heels back. And point the feet. Stay there for a moment. For a few moments. And keep the awareness on the breath. And push the heels back. One last time, point the feet. And push the heels back. Release and relax the breath. Now you may shift out to your abdomen, practice a few back bends, put your forehead down, relax the back, extend your arms forward, relax. Now interlock your fingers, place the palms behind the head and practice Dear Krishna, some five seconds inhale, then exhale.
Bring the right heel to the right heel, left heel to the left heel, one heel at a time. Now both the heels to both the hips. And rotate the hips. And reverse. And release. Relax in Machik Vedas now. And change. And come back. So now you know practice Makrasana. And release. Relax on your cheek. So now you may come to all fours. Practice the cat and dog stretch. Palms under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Inhale, push the navel down, look up. 
Continue to breathe. And exhaling round the back. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Stay there. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Push the navel down. Exhale. And come back. Sit on the hips. Relax. Surrender to gravity, relax the breath. Now come back to all fours. Raise the right leg. Flex the right foot. And bring the knee towards the chin. And change, go to the other side. Raise the left. Inhale. Exhale. Now, spinal rotation. Drop the chin on the right side. Raise on the left side. Rotate. And reverse. And release. Once again, sit on the heels. Relax. So now you may come to your abdomen. Let's practice the leg lifts. Put your chin down, arms next to the body, facing the ceiling. Inhaling, raise the right leg. Engage the muscles in the back. Engage your hip. And the left side. Continue a few more times. Right side. And left side. One last time. 
left side. Now make a fist. Practice Shalabhasana, bring the fist under the ground area and raise both the legs. Make sure your chin is on the floor. Relax in Machipredas now. And change. And now let's practice gentle bhujangasana. Place the palms under the shoulders, elbows tuck it to the body. Relax the breath. Now inhaling into cobra. Keep the pelvis on the floor. Engage the lower back muscles. And stay there, bend back. And release. Relax on your cheek. So one more time. Come back to all fours. Practice the Marjorie Asana cat and dog stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Now stretch the right leg. Raise the right leg. Extend the left arm. Reach as if you are reaching for something. And change. Left leg and right arm. Stretch, stretch. Continue this a few times. And release. Relax on your, sit on the hips, relax. Straighten your back.
Now, one more time. Come back to your back. Lie down on your back. Relax. So practice the Apanasana, Pan Muktasana. Hold the right leg. Rotate the right knee and right knee. And reverse. Now bring the right knee into the chest. Hold there. Make sure you are comfortable. The other leg, keep it straight. Inhale. Exhaling, raise the chin. Be gentle. And right foot on the left side. Extend your right arm. Hold there. And release. Change. Hold the left knee. Rotate the left knee and left knee. And reverse. Bring the left knee into the chest. Hold there. Inhale. Exhale. Left foot on the right side. Extend your left arm forward. And release. Now bring both the knees into the chest. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Open the knees. Open, close. Open, close. Rotate the knees and hips. And reverse. And release. Relax the breath. And now practice the bridge pose. Bend your knees. Raise into bridge. Exhale. Come down. Inhale. Now place the right foot on the left thigh, hold there. And change. Left foot on the right, hold there. And release. Now get ready for leg lifts. Relax the breath. Extend your arms on either side. Keep the feet together. Point the feet. Push the heels back. Now, inhaling, raise the feet to 90 degrees. Open the feet at the top. Join them at the bottom. Continue. 
And reverse. And release. Now raise the right leg. Do not bend at the knee as much as possible. Raise the left leg. And make three circles on the right side. And reverse. And release. Change. Raise the left leg. Make circles, wider circles. And reverse. And release. Now, if you can, only if you can, raise both the feet, make circles. And reverse. And release. Relax the breath. And practice the bridge pose one more time. Say to Bandhanas, grab hold of the ankles, raise into bridge. Come to a supported bridge. And release. Relax. Now let's practice the leg lifts, palms under the hips. Relax the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Synchronizing the moment with the breath. Continue as many times as you can. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and the last one. Inhale, five seconds. Exhale, longer than five seconds. Relax.
Now, once you are relaxed, let's go to the next round. Arms on either side, palms. Palms facing the ceiling. Point the feet. Take a deep inflation and a long exhalation. Push the heels back. Master all your energy. Inhale. Exhale. Relax, perfect, as much as you can. Now practice the side movement. Relax the breath. If you, if you need more time, please take your time, don't rush. Inhale, exhaling, bring the feet to one side. Turn the head to the other side, hold. Change. Do not raise the shoulders. Keep going side to side. And keep the legs straight so that you get the right stretch in the head. And relax. So now let's complete the sequence and then we'll move to the Surya Namaskars. Inhale, bring the arms beyond the head. Point your feet, stretch. Exhale, push the heels back. Relax the breath. Master all your energy. Continue with the next round. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one. Now bring the palms under your head. Keep looking at your feet. But practice cycling motion. And reverse. And release. Relax. So now you may shift over to your abdomen. Relax in Matsukridasana.
and change. And come back. So now sit on the heels. Let's get ready for standing poses. Elongate your spine. Bring the spine closer to the mat. Straighten the spine. Straighten the back. And sit on the heels. Relax. Now practice the vinyasa. Bring the chin closer to the mat. Bend back into cobra. Standing cobra. Do this a few times. Exhale. Inhale. And come into downward dog. Bring one heel down at it. And bring both the heels down. Walk forward. And let us start this standing poses. And reverse. Bring the right heel to the right, left heel to the left. Extend your arms forward, right knee, left knee. And release. Now tap the body. Lower back. Middle ground. Upper. And practice the Tadasana. Keep the feet together. And make sure your hips are rotated. Inhale. Elongate this spine. Stretch. Let the arms go behind the ears. Stretch. Stretch the body in both the directions. Exhale. Inhale, one more time. Keep the feet as close as possible. Four corners of the feet, press them down. Elongate the spine. And raise on your toes. Focus on a point on the ground. Stretch. And once again, rotate the hips and reverse. 
Now, let's practice Lagu Sarvangat. Inhale, exhaling, bend to the right. Align the shoulders. Drop the right arm. Bring the left arm over. Be gentle. And change. And the rotation. And reverse. Okay, so let us start with Surya Namaskar. Oh, I'm 
Oh, no. 
Now you may lie down in your, on your back and relax. Now bend your knees. Without raising the hips, raise your abdomen. Do not come into bridge pose. Just raise your... Create a gap between spine and the mat. Inhale. Exhale, close the gap. Inhale. Five times. Exhale. Now bring both the knees into the chest. Raise your chin. Straighten the legs. Come down. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Raise the chin. Press the knees into the chest. Exhale. Relax. So now give a massage to the back. And reverse. And release. Now shift over to the right side. So let's practice the final poses and then inversions. Practice the squats. And practice with katas chair pose. Raise your arms higher. Pretend you are sitting in a chair. Open the knees. Chop the wood. Ha! 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 And come into malasa. Push the thighs out. And bring the knees together. Wrap your arms around the knees. Put your chin on the knees. And release. Now practice your inversions. If you like use a block, practice the bridge pose, then shoulder stand. Use a wall if necessary.
Garden. Get ready for pranayams. Sit in a comfortable posture for their vishwas and practice. And practice Vijay breath if you desire. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. In Mujay. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. Six and twelve. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. As you exhale longer, the inflation becomes deeper. Seven and forty. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing.
Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Now, eight and sixty. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. So make sure you are practicing three-part breathing. Lower abdomen, ribcage, chest and beyond the chest. The ribcage expands. Nine and eighteen. So you visualize that you are filling the body with prana. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. Now ten and twenty. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. Now let's practice 
Antar Kumbaka two rounds. Sit in a comfortable posture. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in, left. Hold. Breathe out, right. Breathe in, right. Hold. Breathe out, left. Well done. Second round. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in, hold, breathe out. Breathe in, hold. Breathe out. Well done. Bahikum. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in, breathe out. Hold, breathe in, breathe out. Hold, well done, relax. So the deep breathing activates the vagus nerve, it's a lot of benefits. Hmm? One more round. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. No, not issue in prayer. Three rounds. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Start exhaling to the left. Breathe in. Hold. 
Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Second round. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. And the third round. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, breathe in. Hold, breathe out, hold, well done, relax. Okay, so we'll start the yoga nidra practice and then see if we'll have some time for meditation. Get ready for yoga nidra. Yoga nidra is a practice of relaxation that takes you deep into a psychic sleep. That means you are not actually sleeping. You are between waking and sleeping. So probably a dreamy stage. And if you follow the instructions that I'm going to give you, if you follow them, uh, follow me along, then you will find that most relaxing for you. So lie down comfortably, getting ready for yoga nidra. Your feet are apart and your arms are about 45 degree angle from your, from the center. Sorry. So yoga nidra is a practice of relaxation 
that takes you deep into a psychic sleep. That means you are not actually sleeping. You are between waking and sleeping. So probably a dreamy state. And if you follow the instructions that I'm going to give you, if you follow them, uh, follow me along, then you will find that most relaxing for you. So keeping the palms facing the ceiling, natural curve of the fingers, make sure your eyes are closed, allow the feet to fall to the sides, and then begin to feel the body as it lies on the floor. Feel the meeting points of the body and the floor. Under the shoulders, under the elbows, wherever they touch the floor, under the palms, under the hips, under the knees, and under the heels, and also under the head. Now, feel all those mating points once again and see how your body is sinking into the floor more and more nicely. As the body sinks into the floor, you are also feeling the heaviness of the body increasing. Now bring your attention to the chest area. From the chest, as you close your eyes, feel the space from the chest to the ceiling. Just feel it. Create a feeling of the space. Now, from the right side of your body, feel the space to the wall on the right. Now, do the same with your left side, from the left side of the body to the wall on the left. Now, bring your attention to the top of the head and feel the space from that spot to the wall behind and beyond your head. Now feel the space from the soles of your feet to the wall in front of the feet. Now feel the space once more under the body. How the body is grounded to the floor and your body is absolutely still and comfortably still. The word comfort is important in relaxation. If you're comfortable, you can continue. If you're not comfortable, you have to move until you are comfortable. So any change in position you can do now, but try not to keep moving. Try to be Still, only in stillness, you get a deep relaxation. Now bring your attention to each part of the body by bringing the consciousness to the right hand thumb. Your mind is moving to the thumb, but the thumb is not moving. You're bringing awareness to the thumb. Second finger, it will go very quickly now. Second finger, the third finger, the fourth finger, and the fifth finger, the front of the palm, back of the palm, and the elbow, the right shoulder, and the waist, the right hip, the right thigh, Knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, the right big toe, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now feel the whole of your right arm and the whole of your right leg, the whole of your right side and feel it is becoming heavier. And with that heaviness, you're also relaxing even more. Do the same with your left side, left hand thumb, second finger, third, 
fourth, fifth, front of the palm, back of the palm, wrist, elbow, shoulder, armpit, waist, left hip, left thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, left big toe, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now feel the whole of your left side once again, making sure it is heavier and also relaxing. Now attention on both arms and both legs. Both arms and both legs heavier than before. And as a result, you're also feeling a deeper relaxation. Bring your attention now to your lower back, middle back, and upper back. And begin to soften the entire spine with your thoughts. Bring your attention to the back of the neck. And soften the back of the neck, continue with the back of the head also relaxing and the top of the head. Now come to the top of the head, feel a sensation there. Feel the forehead and the space between the eyebrows. The space between the eyebrows is a very important center of energy. It's called the eye of Shiva, the third eye of Shiva. Continue down to the eyes, the right eye, the left eye, the right ear, the left ear, the right nostril, the left nostril, and the right cheek, the left cheek. So your mind is moving to all these parts quickly. Now feel the upper lip and the lower lip, and also the chin, front of the neck, chest, abdomen, internal organs. Feel the internal organs also. Now begin to scan your body from the head to the toes. Develop a homogeneous awareness of the whole body. Become aware of the space occupied by the body. Become aware of the whole body and the floor. The whole body in relation to the floor. At the same time, become aware of the meeting points of the body and the floor. These are very subtle physical points between the body and the floor. Feel the meeting point between the back of your head and the floor, shoulder blades and the floor, elbows and the floor, back of the hands and the floor, buttocks and the floor, the calves and the floor, the heels and the floor. Do not sleep. Switch your attention now to the eyelids. Feel the narrow line of meeting between the upper and lower eyelids. Feel the soft points where they meet. Intensify your awareness between the eyelids. Now the lips. Center your attention on the line between the lips, the space between the lips. From the lips, 
we go to the breath. Draw your attention to the natural ingoing and outgoing breath. Feel the breath moving along the passage between the navel and the throat. On inhalation, it rises from the navel to the throat. On exhalation, it descends from the throat to the navel. Be completely aware of the respiration. Navel to throat, throat to navel. Do not try to force the breath. Just bring awareness to the breath. Now maintaining your awareness, start counting your breaths beginning from number 10, first exhalation number 10, second exhalation number 9, continue until 1. Now you may stop counting. So let's come back to the body. Awaken the feeling of heaviness in the body. The feeling of heaviness in every single part of the body. You're, you're feeling so heavy that you are sinking into the floor. Awareness of Heaviness, awareness of heaviness. Now, let us reverse the whole scene. Awaken the feeling of lightness, the weightlessness. Feel completely weightless in your body in all parts of the body, your body feels like a piece of cotton, so very weightless. Awareness of lightness. Now begin to awaken the sensation of heat. Awaken the experience of heat in the body. The whole body, you feel it is hot. The whole body is hot. You feel hot all over. Recollect the feeling of heat when you are out in the sun with no shade, heat all over the body. Awareness of heat. Now once again, change and feel the experience of cold. Awaken the experience of bitter cold in the body. Imagine you are walking on a cold floor in winter. Your feet feel very cold. You feel cold all over. Awareness of coldness. Completely cold. Bitter cold.
Now bring your awareness to the dark space you see in front of your closed eyes. The dark space that you see in front of your closed eyes. Actually, this space can also be visualized in front of the forehead. So if you want to explore it a little, you can shift your gaze to the forehead. Watch the darkness that you see before you very carefully with detachment. Do not become involved. Rest your mind in this warm and friendly darkness. If any subtle phenomena manifest, for example, colors or patterns, simply take note of these and continue with your awareness. If thoughts begin to happen, let them come and go, but continue watching the dark space in the forehead. Continue this with detached awareness. Very slowly now become aware of your breathing. Become aware of your natural breathing. Become aware of your relaxation. Feel your normal breath. Gradually develop awareness of your physical existence. Become aware of your arms and legs and your body lying stretched out on the floor. Become aware of the meeting points between your body and the floor. Once again, gradually develop awareness of the room. Without opening the eyes, feel the colors of the walls, the ceiling. And then open your ears to any noises in the room and the noises outside. Externalize your mind. Take your mind out at this point, but do not open your eyes until I tell you. Become completely external. Lie quietly for a few moments. Keep your eyes closed. Gradually when you are sure that you are wide awake, take a deep breath, inhale, and a long exhale. And after that, begin to bend your legs, shift over to the right side, and then bundle up into the child's pose. Become cozy, casual, and comfortable. We gently press the left palm and sit up.
Let's get ready for a short meditation. Sri 
Conclude with Om chanting. Oh. 
सर्वे भवन्तु सुखिनः सर्वे संतु निरामयः सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कश्चित कबाग भवे असतो मा सद्गमय तमसो मा ज्योतिर्गमय मृत्योर्मा अमृतंगमय ओ पूर्णमद पूर्णमिद पूर्णमुगछते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति 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 हरि ओ श्री गुरभ्यो नम हरि Thank you all. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Andy. Yes, sir. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Andy.